Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits. I'm going to evaluate each limit here. So, if I was given this limit, the limit as x approaches 3 pi over 4 of 2 cosine of x. Okay? Well, again, cosine of 2 cosine of x, but cosine in part here is a trig function. We can plug directly our limit in for that value x, provided, provided that limit um, it's in our domain, which cosine exists everywhere. So we're going to plug 3 pi over 4 directly into x. So we have 2 now times the cosine of 3 pi over 4. Okay. Now the cosine of 3 pi over 4 is a negative, okay, we know it's a negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Well, this becomes fairly simple now. 2 and 2 will cancel, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have a negative square root of 2, and that is just our final answer. So let's recap. We're going to limit as x approaches 3 pi over 4 times 2 cosine of x. Well, cosine being a trig function, we plug x directly in, right? Or 3 pi over 4 directly in for x there. And so <clears throat> we add that. So we have 2 times the cosine of 3 pi over 4. Cosine 3 pi over 4 is the negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Well, 2 times the negative square root of 2 over 2 is equal. Uh, we multiply that out. 2 is canceled. We're left with the negative square root of 2. And that is our final answer to this limit. 